Hello and welcome to Papillon or Papillon or is it Papillon? <laughs> Papillon. The road to show them all. Whatever. Um. Yes. Papillon. Uh. Two and a half hours. It's a a drama, a crime drama about two guys sitting in prison and trying to escape. Um. That's that's all I know. And yeah, it's two and a half hours. <laughs> so there's a lot. And this film was recommended to me by my father and a good friend of mine. And they both say that that this is a great film. So I'm very excited. It's with Steve McQueen, the good old Steve McQueen, and Dustin Hoffman. Two legends. So it can only be good. <laughs> All right. Nominated for one Oscar, but uh, we'll come to that later. And it's directed by Franklin J. Schaffner, who did Planet of the Apes, which was very great. Okay. Let's get, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> let's rock. As of this moment, you are the property of the penal administration, French Guiana. Hmm, so it's a colony. Interesting. <laughs> Constantly under under aim point. One wrong mute. Uh, one wrong move. <laughs> and I shoot you right in the face. But, but only the first row is, in a, is under aim point. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman. The great Dustin Hoffman. Papio. Papi. Ah, You'll be back, Papillon. Don't worry. You'll be back. So they are already imprisoned. I wonder for how long. Steve McQueen already looks like a man who got plans. <laughs> Constantly watching. You're Papillon, aren't you? Yeah. The bastards gave you life. Right to the end of the line, I think. It may not be as long as you think. 40% of us will die the first year out. But a man like you could make it. If you have enough money, you are outside the walls. Why don't you run? There's no place to run to. You know, if you got a lot of money, that's a different thing. I mean, you take somebody like Degas there. Back there. Louis Degas, the best counterfeiter in France. Now, if you've got money like he has, there's a chance to buy your way out. Okay, that's why he picked why he picks him. You're Dagger, aren't you? Louis Dagger. You're Papio, and you got life for killing a pimp and then had the bad taste to tell the prosecutor you were going to escape and kill him too. I was framed for that murder. I'm innocent. No one is innocent. I'm no pimp killer for Christ's sake. I'm a safe cracker. That's a profession of which I thoroughly disapprove. Every convict on this ship knows who you are. Any of them, split your belly open, reach inside, and get what you're carrying. So? You need protection. From you? <laughs> so he's innocent. Hmm. All right.
You can really feel the heat in these shots. Everyone sweating, dirty. <laughs> I like that. Or I'll cut your head off. Hide it. He's uh, worth his money. <laughs> you know, when you're on those islands, you're there for keeps. Where do we go? We go up the Moroni River. And that's where they decide whether to send you to the work camps or to the islands. Hmm. So they want the work camps. It's easier to escape there. But it's, but it would be interesting if they, uh, they would send to the islands, and then they they have to swim. I'm gonna have an accident going down that gangplank, and it's gotta look good. So let me a shift. A very bright red. To be blood. Is that not a warning? What the fuck? Neither fact with the with the uh, blood coming out of his head, but it's it's too bright. He said no. Okay, all right. <laughs> this was quick. You're Louis Dega. I am, sir. And uh, this is my friend Papillon. So it's Papillon. Kilo forty, both of them. Today's transport. What is kilo forty? It's eighty pounds. <laughs> you lazy bastard! You got that crack and you bring him along. He said duck, but it was a crocodile. <laughs> yes, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> It's changing plans, isn't it? The rule here is total silence. We make no pretense at rehabilitation here. We're not priests, we're processors. Because we process dangerous men into harmless ones. This we accomplish by breaking you. Breaking you physically, spiritually, and here. Strange things happen to the head here. And masturbate as little as possible, it drains the strength. That's all, take him away. And what I like about this film so far is that it's not predictable in any way. I mean, the goal is to break out, but plans change constantly.
So for how for how long will you be in there? I guess it's a long time. And what will he do with this time? He can't break out there. Or can he? <laughs> Maybe with the help of uh, that other guy, which I forgot his name. <clears throat> Something with a D. Of another in inmate. So technically, someone can smuggle something in for him. Food. <laughs> Uha. Get bitten. And that's bad. You could get get seriously sick. Prisoner, show yourself. You've been receiving coconuts. Unless you tell us who sent them, your rations will be cut in half. Where are you? I, I, I don't know. I want that name, and I want it now. Put him on half rations and screen his cell for six months. Six months? That's hell. <laughs> Some proteins. So six, six month month uh, gone by now. <laughs> wow. Prisoner, show yourself. I get questions questioned again, but he won't talk. I know it. <laughs> Give me the name and you're back on full rations. I don't get that hungry. You starve. You should see yourself. I was born skinny. It's not that skinny. Then you'll die. But it's an endless cycle now. He won't talk. And this will continue. Until he talks. Or dies. Whatever. Hmm. I'm Fabio. Francisco. Another guy. So I guess 
Uh, the other guy died. Well, he got out. I don't know. <laughs> Oh no, Ugh. not a tooth. Ugh. <laughs> That's 30 days more, pimp killer. I want to see the warden. I want to talk to him. I have something I want to tell him. Hmm. But what will you tell him? Give you the food. Yo, mama. I, I, I don't know. Jesus, one. I, I, I can't remember. It's a really great acting. <laughs> it's not there, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, no, it's, it's not. It's not there. No. Hmm. No. Does it work? I guess not. I think he wanted to tell them at at first, and then at the last second he changed his mind. He was tempted. Your term is completed. Hmm. How much time went by? How many years? But now, now Dega has all reason to trust him. He first saved his life, and then he didn't talk. He didn't talk to self, save himself. Second attempt, add five more. Of course, more serious offenses are dealt with in this fashion. And, and Steve McQueen always um, plays a strong character. <laughs> and that's a prime example. These guys are skinny. But he's not. <laughs> after after years in solitary confinement or the, how, how it's called, <laughs> he looks still normal. No need to eat it anymore. Someone once said the temptation resisted is the true measure of character. I agree. My wife and lawyer have convinced certain members in the Ministry of Justice that my sentence was a bit harsh. Some months back, I asked them to look into your case. One of the principal witnesses against you may be willing to change his story. Hmm. If this happened, when would it be? You could be out in perhaps three years. Too long. No, it isn't. And with a good job, the time would pass very quickly. Hmm. And if he gets released after all this time, 
then you should then you should be what's it called Com compensated I don't know if it was usual at this at this time I'll do what you ask on one condition you keep your money and you take me with you no I find the only one who can get you out of here You may have been framed as you say you were, but I wasn't. I'm the one who's killed a man, not you. Okay. Hmm. I thought it's, it's uh, only these two who escaped. But now they got four, I think. Hmm. Very noticeable <laughs> that arm like that <laughs> and the guy right next to it. I have a feeling that he he gets caught. He got caught. It's a matter now of seconds or minutes if the guards are uh, alarmed and then they got no time to escape. So I don't know how how would they do it if they do it. <laughs> Nice framing. <clears throat> I love that kind of shots. <laughs> Goddamn boat's no good. Look at it. I'll kill that bastard. I didn't twist my ankle, I fractured it. Oh, you yeah, yeah. broke your leg. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a boat that's no good, a broken leg. They can't escape on water, not on, fo on foot. <laughs> they fucked up. Seriously. Now relax. What? Relax. You're, you're at the wrong end. What? It'll only last a couple of minutes. It sounded like, sounded like breaking his neck. <laughs> that that would be a twist. <laughs> One of the main characters died very early. How'd you do that? We've all got our sensitive spots. What what happened? You almost died. That 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 happened. Do dogs carry leprosy? I would... If I, if I was him, I would uh, close my shirt. Because uh, if someone asks, asks these people, they could tell them, yeah, he has a tattoo. In shape of a butterfly. That's no good. Mm. 
Hmm. That's why he's why he was so scared of touching that dog. Hmm. I don't know whether you should hide Honduras in about three and a half, maybe four weeks. When you get there, you'll need some money. We pass the hat. Hurry up. Was everybody just standing without doing something? So weird. <laughs> With a knife. Oh no. Okay, he's just burning it, okay. <laughs> I was thinking he was cutting the whole foot off. No, now they're stranded on a on a little little island, and now they meet Tom Hanks. <laughs> we made it. Amigo. Ooh. Hopefully he won't pass out now. Hmm. Hmm. He did pass out and got saved, I guess. He went from hell to heaven. <laughs> hmm. But what happened to um What's his name again? <laughs> Diego. Diego. He got captured. Hmm. So while he is enjoying himself, Dego <laughs> is uh, suffering, and the other guy got shot. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. He wanted to. <laughs> what if it doesn't get it right? <laughs> then he has to die. Hmm. But it's nice. Looks nice.
Hmm. But is he some kind of a prisoner now? Or can he go whenever he wants? And if he can go whenever he wants, why isn't he search looking for um uh Dego? <laughs> Dega? Dega? Dego. Something like that. <laughs> Dego. 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 Dega. 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 Like Vega. Just with the D. Dega. 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 Was it Dego? <laughs> Whatever. Señor. Dinero, por favor. The only one who gives something is an escaped prisoner. <laughs> ah. Ah. Why? Okay, because he can't run. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Is this the same uh, person he was in solitary? Hmm. Now he was in solitary again? For how long? <laughs> White hair. Your five years in solitary five confinement years. are at an end. <laughs> you paid part of your debt to France. Wow. And that's Dega? No. This guy. He's blind on one eye, it seems. Huh. How dare you sit there? This bench belongs to Captain Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus? Dega? There is. Jesus. Louis. Ah! Ah! Louis. If I could find a way to get off this island, would you like to come with me? <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's a spirit that can't be broken. See? It's a horseshoe. The waves break, they have no place else to go except go back out again. Bags of coconuts tied together, just throw them over. Float out on a wave. The mainland's only 24 miles. You just drift with a current. You're certain? Yeah. Seems so... so desperate. Yeah. <laughs> you think it will work? Does it matter? Hmm. Doesn't work. Now he's got it. <laughs> now he figured it all out. It was a wrong wave. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they come in a series of seven. And the seventh wave is big enough to take us both out beyond the point of return. 
Are you certain? Yeah. Excellent. Last chance. Last chance to break. To break out. Finally. <laughs> I must tell you something. Lewis. You don't have to say anything. I'm sorry. And that's, that's the stunt I've read about, that he was doing it by himself, that jump off the cliff. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. And now, he, now he has to pedal 20, 24 miles. That's a long way. That would be about 35 to 40 kilometers. My, my estimation. Hey, you bastards. I'm still here. <laughs> There's something in the water uh, below. Happy all made it to freedom. <laughs> it's a guy pedaling. <laughs> This, the infamous penal system in French Guiana, did not survive him. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Dalton Trumbo! Screenplay by Dalton Trumbo! I didn't know that! Wow! So at this time, when he wrote this, he wasn't on, on, on the blacklist anymore. Huh. Or for how long was he on the blacklist? No, it was way before. In the six, in the six, in the fifties. And sixties. Huh. Nice, nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I'll see you at the review. All right, that was it. That was Papillon. Um, it was long, but great. And if a film is great, then I prefer it to be long. So this was a good thing. And Great performances from uh, both. Um, uh, <laughs> Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman, especially Steve McQueen, where he was in solitary. That was very great performance. And Dustin Hoffman played his character so well, like many others. And um, he has something special. I feel I always I always feel attached to the character. I don't know what it is. It's the same with um I think Midnight Cowboy is the title with uh, John Voight and this role where 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 he gets me very uh emotional about the character um, because he's such a nice guy and <laughs> I don't know I, I just feel for for him especially at the end where he was so uh, not not right in the head anymore and and then he wouldn't come with him that touched me 
Um, yeah, it was directed by Franklin J. Schaffer, like I said uh, before, the director of Planet of the Apes. And I can't recall that he had anything else done that I watched, except these two, Planet of the Apes and Papillon. Um, his direction was pretty solid, nothing special, a good ca camera work in general, nice shots, sometimes slow movements, but very uh, nice timed. So it's not right in your face, very subtle, and I like that. For the rider, Dalton Trumbo, that, su that surprised me, really. <laughs> wow, Dalton Trumbo. I've seen uh, the film about Dalton Trumbo, and I've read about it, about him, about the whole blacklist, and so on. Um, and in the film, he was played by Brian Cranston. And very good. He was nominated... Also, Brian Cranston was nominated for an Oscar for that role. I don't think he won, but he was nominated. Deserved. Um, yeah, that, that's why I know Dolph Trumbo so well. He's such a great writer. About the story, it was two and a half hours, but it didn't feel like two and a half hours. It felt like, I don't know, maybe two hours. Time was gone by so fast, um, but that's a good thing. I really enjoyed it. I originally thought the story was um, more simple because all I, all I know was two guys in prison breaking out and that's it. But it was so unpredictable and so much happened and, and they failed so often. I wasn't expecting that and that character development in for, from the Steve McQueen character it was it was very well done it was such a great character such a strong character yeah and that's that's it about the story I really liked liked it the music was from Jerry Goldsmith who also did uh, First Blood and I love that score from First Blood I just love it and he was nominated for this film uh, for the best score but didn't win just nominated it was a good score but not so uh, again not so in your face just subtle and yeah all right, that's pretty much it. I have nothing more to say again. So see you next time. Bye bye.